Hello everyone, my name is Michael Corey. I'm a Senior Solution Consultant for IT Operations Management. I am here to talk about the Tokyo Delta for our new release of ServiceNow, specifically around ITOM Health. So you can see um, the product evolution from Orlando up through Tokyo, quite a lot of changes have occurred. I'm just going to talk about a few of these um, up in this list. So here in the middle, I'm gonna focus just on the middle here, our event management common services data model and service model. The important piece here being that the service dashboard and alert form are now better aligned with our service portfolio aspects. And not to forget our new minor new ITOM health features, the multiple event management rule processing and the new metric intelligent medium app solution deviation model, which are exactly as they sound in metric intelligence, we now support the ability to do mad modeling and in event management, you can now process event multiple event management rules instead of just a singular one. So we're talking about the CSDM and service offering that refers to our common services data model. Um, so what this is gonna do here is it's going to prioritize based off business services and service offering, which is new. And this improves really the conversation between operations and business. Uh, we're finally gonna be able to group being aligned to what is actually being consumed. So a lot less confusion there. So how this actually works when we're in the operator workspace, we actually now have the option option under the group by, you'll see those normal groupings that we see, and you'll see this new option service portfolio. This adds a really another important layer of distinction. So here we'd be able to select uh, business service or the service offering. Here you're actually seeing under conferencing, WebEx or Zoom, see different options, which is wonderful. This is an example of it being broken up by the business services, networks for video conferencing. Uh, and then here is a breakdown of those service offerings, you know, Zoom and WebEx, really just providing another way of uh, viewing and, and breaking down that data. And we even uh, see this related service offerings being available in the alert form as well in Tokyo, really just bringing all of that together, making our lives easier. Uh, and here I want to talk about the multiple event management rules. So ServiceNow is finally supporting the processing of multiple event management rules. Previously, we only allowed one event rule to be executed, executed but due to popular demand, we finally added this. And here, just some uh, additional details on how the multiple event rules is actually going to work. It filters on the original event. Uh, there's actually uh, an ability to apply uh, additional rules as you're going through it. Um, so as it does that transform compose, it's going to basically essentially uh, apply the previous event rules output. And here, uh, kind of the last thing I'm going to cover is for metric intelligence, we've now added a MAD model. The median absolute deviation statistical model is now supported. Uh, so it basically is going to be used to identify anomalous behavior in a time tier or other data sets, uh, which can be great. Again, we're just trying to add additional features uh, to this product set, and that's one we're hoping really helps reduce those false positives for those anomaly alerts. So thank you all for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Uh, 